But let's talk about where can you read about research from enzymes. Well, there's lots and lots and lots of really well-written books that the lay public can read about enzymes that are quite different than the books that you read about enzymes if you're in formal education in medicine or biology. Uh, probably the one that you should start with is Dr. Howell's book, Enzyme Nutrition. And that's not out of, only out of respect for Dr. Hal, the man that put enzymes on the map, the most renowned enzymologist in the world's history, but it's also a very well-written book that gives you the premise of why enzymes are so powerful. As I always address this in conferences I do, enzymes are sort of like the switches that switch all processes on in your body, all processes on in your cell. And so Dr. Hal's book, Enzyme Nutrition, is where to start. There's other great books on the subject, too, and you can find them uh, on the Internet. How do we know these enzymes are used in the body? Well, one of the things we do is, along with the three-week life change program, uh, for decades we've offered the health educator program. And as my wife, who's one of the world's leading experts on the research uh, with microscopic fields, uh, demonstrates that when you have people and look at their blood, and see that the blood cells are all sticking together because they don't individually have enough energy and nutrition. They come together and try to suck up that little bit of nutrition and energy to, from the little bit that's existing there. You can literally have that all change within a three to four minute period just by consuming enzymes. So those people that doubt enzymes go through the digestive system, uh, that's one way we can tag it and see it. We have never ever demonstrated that in one case over decades that it hasn't immediately shown up within three to four minutes in the digestive, uh, in the bloodstream, and has gone through the digestive system. Number two, uh, companies that make these enzymes for us have done extensive studies on this and tagged them and literally seen them come out in the gastrointestinal flora and the bacterial area of it. This is something that's widely understood. We also have to know that just because we have the old understanding of anatomy and physiology and biochemistry, where it would say that things going through the digestive system would be killed, it's not the only place that enzymes or nutrients go into the body. Uh, we've neglected to understand that there's quantum biology today, and quantum biology shows us that food nutrients, including enzymes, start to go right through uh, the capillaries in the mouth as we're chewing. They don't even wait to go down to the stomach and other digestive areas. And that's very well understood. 